words of knowledge, praying for the sick. There's going to be deliverances that take place. There, there are some that have been tormented in the mind and you thought that was normal and it ends tonight. But we're also weaving in the prophetic. And one of our dearest friends, one of our most trusted friends is Sean Bowles. And uh, the Lord's shown him several things. So I want us to dial it way down and give, up, give Sean an opportunity to minister here. Okay, I've never done this in a crowd this big, so this is new for me and it might be new for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out a few things that are words of knowledge, which means there are things about your life currently right now. And if this is you, it has to be all the things, not one of the things. And I want you to wave your hands as big as you can so that we can really see you because it's going to take a second to identify who you are. So if I call out the details and it makes sense for you, please wave your hands. And prophecy just makes you feel like Jesus loves you. So I'm going to get words of knowledge that are going to help us to know who I'm prophesying over, and then I'm going to get words for that person that I'm prophesying over that might involve healing or whatever else. So we're going to try this out. Please, Jesus, come. Is there a Kenny or Kenneth Ray and a Patricia Lou who came together? A Kenny or Kenneth Ray and a Patricia Lou who came together? Help me find them. Are they here? Are they real? Come on. They're up there in this section right there. Okay, so you're going to have to help me out here. Tell me if these names make sense to you. There's four of them. It's David, Esther, John, and Sarah. Does that make sense? She's excited. These are your children? Are they your children? This is Jesus. He's spe is there any more? Is, there, is that it? That's it. We got him. Okay, there might be one more, but we, I, I can't tell. Patricia, God is healing a list of, of things you need in your body from the mission field where you've needed a list of healing and God's touching you right now. So just lift that list to him and you're gonna feel a healing anointing come over you and God is sending you guys. This is awesome. These are their names. God knows their names. God is sending you guys back to Oregon. Does this make sense? Back to Oregon. So you're going to Oregon. Does that make sense at all? Yes, it's making a lot of sense. We don't know what it means, but he says you're gonna reap what you haven't even sown in Oregon and also, I saw something about California and Fair Oaks. I used to live near Fair Oaks. Is there a Fair Oaks connection? So here's what I see with Fair This is radical. She's like, oh, you know, it's working. So Fair Oaks, Winding Oak Drive. Does that make sense? This is an actual street you lived on. And the reason why God's showing me this is because it's a parable of what you're going to be planting in the West Coast of oaks of righteousness, winding oaks, places that will, are people that will offer so much stability and shade in their Christianity. You and your husband are amazing disciples. And I saw uh, something about 2 Corinthians 1 2, and then I thought maybe 1 2 is a significant date to you. Is 1 2 anything? Like January 2nd, is that anything at all? Yes, is this an anniversary maybe? This is your anniversary. Yes. Jesus loves your marriage. <laughs> of course he does. I ask, I ask God right now. I just ask God right now, Kenneth and Patricia, that he would touch you and mark you because you are examples in this revival culture of people who are going to be carrying a discipleship move of revival into this next season. God knew you would be here. He knew you would be here because he sent you here to be a token to all of us that he knows us. He knows our families. He knows what we need in our bodies. He knows what's going to come next. And he's pleased with us. He loves you. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. That was crazy. Okay. We're going to try again. You guys ready? I do this because on a public way because you can do this as well. God wants to show us people's birthdays. I go up to people on the streets all the time because when we hear when they were born, it makes them think God is thinking of me. No, he's been thinking of you for millions of years before you were ever born. And so God thinks of the important times to us. I've gotten social security numbers and bank account numbers and people need to know God cares about our finances. And so I just tell you that for those of you who are new to this, that God wants to give you words of knowledge. So how about this? Is there, this is a couple that would be connected again, a Montel and a Ginger. Montel and a ginger. They're married and they're outside. Is one of them here? They're here, but they're both outside? 
I don't know what to do with that. Montel and Ginger, come back. Oh, they're being texted, so wave to me when they come back or whatever you guys find out. We'll try one more. Is there um, a John and a Lauren? I think you're from Alabama. John and Lauren from maybe Alabama. Anywhere. John and Lauren, are you John? You're John, is there a Lauren? She's in Alabama where you came. Yeah, she sent you here, this is awesome. What I saw for John and Lauren from Alabama, I saw 2 Corinthians 1.22 when Todd White was praying, I wrote this down because I saw the stamp of God in your hands and I saw you stamping this generation with righteousness and is there something about January 22nd? Is that anything in your life? Okay, well, well, we'll figure it out. Just pray. I think that's something. How about, oh, I just heard. Is there a street address on Buckhorn Trail? Yes, yes. 122 Buckhorn Trail. That's crazy. That's where? What's? Oh, the ramp. Karen Wheaton, the ramp. That's the ramp address. That's amazing. So, Buck, okay, so God's going to visit this 122 thing, a stamping again. The next season is coming. I saw, um, I don't have anything else to hear, but I saw, uh, is it like you have a, a girl, boy, girl, boy, or a boy, girl, boy, girl? You have four kids. And girl, boy, girl, boy. And the Lord is anointing you as parents over a generation. And your kids are going to be signposts. And John, there's a greater dream in your heart that's about to manifest. You've already known what it is, but I see financial figures around it that is going to help bring it into the next uh, position of faith for this ministry to go into its next position because it's a harvesting tool for God. It's not just a discipleship tool. So God's going to send the ramp to stadiums. He's going to send the ramp to places that they wouldn't even even dreamed of, John, if you didn't get involved somehow with the family. So you must be married to someone in the family of the ramp. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's someone in the family. I don't know the ramp people, but I bless you in Jesus' name for revival. Wow. Lou knows them. I don't know them. That's amazing. Did we get our people? They're coming. We're almost there. Is this exciting? I feel like it's a game show. I feel like it's a holy game show. Jesus loves you. He's trying to call some people out to show you he knows you were going to be here. And there's a divine appointment for you right now. This is so crazy. Okay, let me try. I'm so nervous. Is there uh, a Dustin from Australia who does hair? <laughs> Dustin from Australia who does hair. Is there a Dustin from Australia who does hair? Everybody look around to see if we can find Dustin. He needs to wave really big if you're here. Dustin from Australia who does hair. Did you find him? Is he all the way up there for real? Like way, 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 way up there? All The whole section wave if he's up there. I need to see some waving. He's up there. Dustin, who does hair? And he's up there. So let's see if this makes sense. Dustin, is your middle name Paul? Everybody wave if his middle name is Paul. If there's a Paul in his name. I can't even find y'all. Dustin, do you work with homeless? I'll ask you that. Okay, we have to move on because we don't have much time. And if that's you, I bless you in Jesus' name. I'm trying to get some indicators. This is good. Um, is there a, a Nelson who has a birthday October 28th and you're from Philly? I heard a yeah. Where's he at? Nelson? This is your birthday, October 28th. You're right up front, and you're from Philly. And you're a revivalist to the nth degree. This is what you've been pursuing as your primary passion. And God knows your birthday because he planned you. Just like I said, for millions of years, I'm telling you, the Lord is going to use you like a nail against the enemy. Like he's going to drive you in like a stake into the ground. And there's something about, there's something about logos, but it's time for Ramos. So there's something about the logo. Is there a logo something? 
That's a ministry you did as a high schooler who got saved. And there's something about bringing the rhema to the logos now. It's the both, to have the rhema to the logos. There's a move of the Holy Spirit. I feel like some of your heroes are here on the stage. And it takes a hero to know a hero. You're going to be a hero. And the Lord is saying, you've been developing a revival lifestyle. And it's affected your mother. It's affected your family. And there's going to be something as you go home that's going to blow up for you forever. Forever. We bless you. <laughs> You're here at Montel. Where's Ginger? Is Ginger around? Oh, you were at Chris and Savannah's. He's like, we're having a moment. We're just having a moment. Um, Montel, I don't, I don't remember that, but I love you, and I hope this makes sense. I saw Hebrews 11, 7 through 9. It's about the people of great faith. And then I saw maybe a November 8th anniversary. Is there like something about November 8th? It's the seventh. Well, the good thing is I said Hebrews 11, 7 through 9, so it was in that range. We're almost there. This is good. But I feel like God's blessing your marriage. I feel like he says you chose right. And right when I'm, when I'm saying that I see like Ginger, did you guys meet through the music industry somehow? Okay, so you met through the music industry, and I feel like the Lord said she like admin something for you or did something like you met. And I felt like you guys, like, you guys got the confidence to choose right. And I saw God hovering over you at a couple times at the beach where you guys dated, like in your first couple times. Does that make sense? He's saying yes. So at the beach, and I felt like the Lord said he spoke, he speaks to her through ginger, through water. He speaks to her through just his patience and peace. And there's something about your, your life as a hip hop artist, uh, hip hop artist, that it's not winding down, it's winding up. And there's about to be a season of understanding how to grow this industry career. And God's going to send some tools alongside you. And I feel like it's not just for you. It's for like Ginger's son that you've adopted by marriage. Does this make sense? That there's something on his life also in music. Is this good? Does this make sense? And God is about to, he's going to visit your heart to really show you that he loves your music more than you do, that he loves your passions more than you do, and he's gonna affirm you in the deepest place of your heart. And I feel like you're a signpost to so many people here who tried something and had a measure of success, but the greater measure is coming. And you're a signpost in Jesus' name. Praise God. Yes! I'll try it. My phone is blowing up from friends texting me. Please stop texting. That was them. That was the couple. Okay, let me try one more. If Dustin from Australia is here, then email me or find me. Is there a Danielle or Daniela from Greenville with a December 5th birthday? Someone's screaming. Daniela from Greenville. Are you up there somewhere? I'm hearing screaming. Wave, rub it. Oh, is that you? There's a lot. Okay, there's a couple of you. There's people screaming over there too. What's going on? Okay, we're trying to, I told you this is harder in a big crowd, but it's a signpost to you. Is there, is there a, a Suzanne who's a grandmother? Does that make sense to Danielle? Ah, oh, there you are. There you are. You're praying, grandmother's answers are gonna happen. Danielle, there's something about December 5th must be your birthday. And there's a level of fulfillment that uh, Suzanne's gonna see in her other grandkids. And she won't just be bowling. Does that make sense? Is there something about bowling? I'm confused as to where I'm talking. Yes, that's, oh, I should look at the monitor the whole time. Is that, does she bowl? There we go. Her last name is Bowling. She just said it, just read her lips. That's amazing. So, so God is honoring praying grandmothers at this event because we are a fulfillment of a generation of prayer and you're going to fulfill the musical calling. You're going to fulfill the calling of leadership. You're going to fulfill, there's almost like a, a building calling of artisans and drawing them together and speaking passionately to them. And I release over you to do what you were born for. You made a radical choice to say yes and because of that, your whole life and your children's lives have been decided in a kingdom way for greatness to travel to nations in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So I want to pray over you because God is bringing prophetic words that cause people to be in awe. It brings them to a point that says either he's a researcher online or has a, a detective degree or he's a real thing or she's the real thing. And, and God wants us to bring people to that moment where they go, do you really know me this well, God? Are you really this involved in my heart and my life? And I want to release the prophetic that causes the love of God, where we translate the love of God on the earth. It's time to translate God. So I want you, if you want that, just lift your hands up. And Lord, I release, even as Paul Cain prophesied over me, who had these stadium visions like this one that we're standing in, and he said, I'm a token, but you're going to be a bridge that as you prophesy, a whole generation will begin to prophesy with words of knowledge and words of prophecy. And they'll meet with heads of state and movie stars. They'll meet with billionaires and millionaires. They'll meet with church leaders, and they'll meet with other religions. And they will have honor and respect because of their love. I release over you right now a prophetic impartation of love that you would hear God for yourself and the world around you, that you would hear God in such a passionate way that you would be shocked in, in all of what he tells you to yourself. And I speak to you and say, if I can do it, you can do it. If this is real for me, it's definitely real for you. And I release you into faith right now. In Jesus' name, it's yours. Amen.